some time ago, in another video, I said that time will tell for me to pl let's play a certain game. Time has spoken. And it is good to be bad. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this let's play of Dungeon Keeper. Alright, let's get cracking. Ever smile. Set in the realm of joy. The people of Eversmile are plagued only by aching facial muscles, and not anthrax as we had hoped. Eversmile is a disgusting land of good humor and polite frivolity. Well, I was a bit uh, reluctant to do this, mainly because of this. I have absolutely no control where to point the camera in this screen. Shouldn't matter much because since it focuses on the target anyway uh, at the start. But anyway, let's begin with this tutorial mission. pressure room. Alright, 
that's basically just picking up the minions. I don't really want to do that. Uh, I can also possess minions. You have tunneled into a new area. Very nice. Not really useful right now. Ah, that can be faster. Claim what is mine, my underlings. <laughs> An entrance has been claimed. Good. Mm, my first minion, a fly. The creature I will hardly ever see again. Useful for scouting, but nothing else. <laughs> Come on, fortify my walls. A beetle has scuttled into your realm. It's a tough enough to absorb a lot of damage, but like most creatures, beetles require food. Dig out a new area, select the hatchery icon, and create your hatchery. Tasty snacks will soon emerge. Still fortifying. Flag, we can uh, see the health of the room, uh, how full the room is, and how strong it is fortified. In that order. Which would make my lair not even full and a little bit fortified. Of course, we cannot fully be secure since we've got a whole open area here. And of course, there is still this a little bit. Intruders approach. They seek gaps in your fortifications in order to gain entry to your dungeon. A white trail on the map indicates their progress. Alright, so click on the map then basically and here they are. And we can hear them. Alright, now the map is not like that. This is better. And here we can see them. Tunneling into my realm. Looks like they're going separate ways. I think so. But all my walls are fortified, so they're not getting in here. And I should have enough beetles to deal with that. Again, beetles. Not really used much beyond this point. Yeah. Despite all the walls being fortified, of course, this doesn't show that it's being fully fortified because we don't have a door. Pretty much the 
the same with this, except your creatures are attacking the enemy. And there they are. will Skype around and I'll just make a hole in this wall. Beware, the Lord of the Land approaches. We shall not tolerate your evil presence any longer. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. Your creatures are falling in battle. Yeah, but they're flies. Not really important. Your creatures are under attack. Yeah, so basically, now he's chasing my uh, imps. My beetles fully recovered yet? I think they are. Right now, I need to drop them in a sensible place. This will be fine. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. And now to watch the carnage. Your creatures are falling in battle. Of course they are. Only level one, and so is he. Your creatures are under attack. These creatures are really losing because I have superior numbers. Your minions are winning a battle. You have conquered this realm. Yay. Your work here is done. Now there is no one to prevent you from obliterating this nauseating realm and expanding your empire into the neighboring land. Nice. Alright. Success. Ah, attracted ten creatures. Branner Hawk. War and anthrax have taken to this land like fleas to a rat. The region is, thanks to your unstinting efforts, now a major eyesore. <laughs> and then the amusing facts are going by a little bit too fast to read. I could slow it down, but that causes uh, sound problems, so I'll not be doing that. Anyway, reasonable enough. And I get last rating. Uh, I tried this level before, got a slightly better rating. Cosyton. Hmm. A hideous sham of a town, in which the prosperous citizens have no gripes or moans. Sadly, even the children are happy and secure. This is because they aren't punished for non-existent crimes. Now we'll change that then, won't we? Alright, remember the lessons you learned in Pranahawk? And all that. Yep, I know. But that's it for this episode. I will see you all next time.